Hello everyone. This is Kazusada Natsu from Tokyo Dengi University, Japan. Today, I'm gonna talk about the study on evacuation route in case of disaster considering fragility of mechanical structures. My presentation focuses on evacuation route considering damage to the escalator. This is today's content. Well, first is the vacuum land and purpose. The escalator had a fall accident in the past earthquake. The main cause is the lack of overlap allowance between supporting members and building beams. Therefore, in Japan, the design standard was revised to improve the earthquake resistance of the escalator. As a result, there is a possibility that it can be used as one of new option for evacuation routes, as the congestion of evacuation stairs is dispersed. So, the purpose of this research is evaluate the fragility of escalator. Search for an evacuation route at the facility in consideration of fragility evaluation. Consider improving efficiency and diversity for evacuation. Next, regarding escalator fragility evaluation. First, the calculation method from probabilistic risk assessment. The first is the calculation of the probability density function from the proof stress and response. The important thing is to determine the index of proof stress from various causes of damage. Please see the figure on the right. Set a fluctuating virtual response value and create a path where the proof stress and response overlap. Next, the fragility curve can be calculated by accumulating this overlapping part. As shown in the figure, the horizontal axis is a road, and the vertical axis is the damage probability. This determines the proof stress depending on the cause of the escalator falling. According to the escalator structure, overlap allowance is prepared on the non-fixed side in order to escape the forced displacement from the building. The main cause of the accident is that the slight displacement due to forced displacement from the building exceeds overlap allowance. In the case, if it slides to the back side, it will fall. And if it slides to the front side, it will crash and vacuum on the building beam. The overlap allowance is calculated from the design the interstate drift angle of the building. At present, the overlap allowance has increased due to the new standard drift angle in Japan. The table shows the drift angle of the old and new standards and their overlap allowance. In this fragility evaluation, the proof stress is calculated as the drift angle. For the proof stress date, we will analyze the time history response of the third floor building and the response of the escalator. Response analysis using building model is a three mass model that simplifies the third floor building. This model calculates interstate displacement and interstate drift angle of a building. The escalator analytical model considers the state of the escalator by dividing it into three cases. Case 1 is not sliding. Case 2 is sliding. Case 3 is clash. Each case is switched depending on the response. This model calculates escalator slide displacement from building displacement. As an example, figure 1 shows the response result of sender NS input. Sender NS is an earthquake wave from the Great East Japan earthquake in urban areas. 
in Figure 1. Fra disp means industry displacement, and ESG slide means slide displacement. The table shows the maximum value for each response. In the analysis, the maximum response value is calculated as data from the response result of 20 wave input. Proof stress is defined as a drift angle that exceeds each standard and when the slide displacement exceeds the standard. This is a calculation result. Figure 2 is a fragility curve that calculated the response result as date. The horizontal axis is a drift angle of the response value. And the vertical axis is a damage probability. Blue line is old standard. Red line is new standard 1. Yellow line is new standard 2. If it exceeds the standard value, it is judged to be dangerous. And damage probability is in the range of 80 to 90%. As shown in figure 2, when the drift angle is 100, the old standard is 19.7%, and the new standard 1 is 4%, the new standard 2 is 0.05%. Also, regarding the difference between the new standards, new standard 1 is basically the revised standard values. New standard 2 is a case where structural calculation is not performed. This shows the fragility curves of other mechanical structures used in later searches. This time, we deal with plate glass, hanging bolts, and plumbing. These are mechanical structures that can become obstacle to the evacuation route when damaged. Similar to the escalator, the index is determined from the cause of damage and calculated the fragility curve. Next, I will introduce the evacuation route search. The evacuation route is evaluated by modeling the aisle using graph theory. Routes are divided into arbitrary sections and are modulated by nodes and edges. Please see the formula on the right. As a weight of the evacuation probability, the damage probability times inference coefficient is given to the edge. Therefore, each probability is, in damage probability, higher is more dangerous. In evacuation probability, higher is safer. The safe route is a route with the highest total evacuation probability. Regarding the floor model to be searched, Figure 3 shows a floor model of the facility, and Figure 4 is represented by node and edges. In Figure 3, the floor model has a simple structure with a stair and an escalator in the center as an evacuation exit. In this report, the damage probability is calculated from the response result of sender NS and the fragility curve. Search for evacuation route on third to second floor and second to first floor to compare the old standard with the new standard. Consider the safety of the escalator of each standard. Search evacuation route only with the escalator. Therefore, in Figure 3, the model is a facility with no obstacles. By evaluating the danger of only the escalator, we will consider whether it can be used as an exit. Table 2 shows the damage probability of the escalator in each layer. It can be seen that the damage probability of second to first floor of new standard 1 and new standard 2 is particularly small. This is a search result. Figure 5 shows 
the rank of the evacuation probability of the escalator route. This is the result of the new standard 2 escalator. Because from table 3, the maximum evacuation probability of new standard 2 is the highest. Therefore, it is considered relatively safe. In figure 5, the green area in the center has the highest evacuation probability on the escalator route. The orange area shows the second highest evacuation probability. It can be seen that there are many nodes far from the center. In this way, it is possible that the new standard 2 can function as one of the exit. Especially, it is considered that the efficiency of evacuation can be improved. Such for a realistic evacuation route with mechanical structures inside the facility. Figure 6 shows the floor model of this search. The model includes mechanical structures that affect the evacuation route, stair exit, and escalator. Table 4 shows the damage probability of the escalator and mechanical structures according to the maximum response value of each layer. In this search, the evacuation probability is calculated from these damage probabilities. As an example of the search results show, the surface route from node 9 to each exit node. Node 9 is close to both the escalator and exit 1. Figure 7 shows the result of illustrating the evacuation route on the floor. Table 5 shows the evacuation probability of route 1 to route 3. This is the route to the stair exit. From the table, it can be seen that route 3 has the highest evacuation probability. This is because it was affected by a structure with a high probability of damage. As a general tendency, it was confirmed that a route is taken to avoid a structure with a high probability of damage. Route 4 is an evacuation route that uses an escalator. Table 6 shows the evacuation probability at each standard time. From Table 6, the old standard has a low probability and it is not possible. In new standard 1, second to first floor is close to 70% and there is a possibility of passing. In new standard 2, which is a strict standard, both floor are possible levels. It can be confirmed that Third to second floor is the safest route next to route 3, and second to first floor is the safest route among all routes. From these results, it is possible that an escalator based on new standard 2 can contribute to the efficiency and safety of evacuation, even in facilities with mechanical structures. In this study, in order to evaluate the evacuation possibility of the new standard escalator in Japan, the fragility curve was calculated from the industry drift angle. The proof stress was calculated from the analytical model of the building and escalator. An evacuation route considering the risk of falling was searched by graph theory. From this result, it is considered that the escalator is difficult to use new standard 1 as an evacuation route in a large earthquake, but new standard 2 has a sufficient function as an exit. In the future, we will analyze the escalator and search the evacuation route under more conditions. In addition, the inference coefficient of mechanical structures will be calculated. This is reference.
This is acknowledgement. Thank you for your attention.